Okay, understand basic rule today. In one hour alone, you already learn to understand how to respond very easily. Literally, in Thai, uh, Wing Chun or Tai Chi Sai, it's very simple, not very difficult. Only difficult is you. You don't make it work for you. Okay, because your body don't learn to move the way you want to move. You just want to move the way you thinking, the way they're meant to be moved. That's dangerous. A lot of time in the class, you can do whatever you want. In the street, it happens, you need to respond fast. To respond fast, you need to train a lot onto the energy drill. For example, like this kind of energy drill, to make your body respond to the line very easily. Okay? If you do not respond to the movement fast, then your body won't be able to pick it up the way you want to make the move the way you want. Yeah? So all this movement here is helping you to respond to the line. So when you're attacking me, I can boom, 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 ah, boom. I can really do the movement fast because my hand do the work, not my body do the work. Do you understand? Because I feel the movement, I respond to it. So what we're doing today, the same blocking and the same blocking. Each one of these blocking can be attacked at the same time. You can turn out, turn to me and say, I punch and move my hand back. Move my hand back. Oh, I can't hit him. Of course, when you do the Wing Chun side with some idiot, that might happen. But when you punch and move back, I straight away attack him. Boom! He lost your bloody face. Because when you're in the street, you made a commitment of attacking. When you see some enemy here with a gun, you don't... If you got a shot on, <laughs> they look pretty today. Ah, it blows your stupid skull open. Enemy! Boom! Talk to him later. Is it fan or foe? Don't really matter. America favored, didn't it? Fan or foe? Who cares? Fucking blow him up and talk to him later. It's the same principle in the street. You don't know. So when you see something, the sign of danger, you need to respond. Yeah. What Wing Chun is help you to respond like that. But you got decide when to do it and when not to do it. Do you understand that? It's not for me to decide. For me to tell you to train to react the same way that you respond when you're in the real world. So from this basic line we talk to you about, it's in here. From here, you can come into attack it, boom, boom, straight away. All the time, his hand close this gap, so it's difficult for him to attack you. You understand me? Second, if I get into here, I bring him in on the side like this, the elbow. I can feel him this way, or I can feel him this way. Does not matter? For him to elbow me coming in, it's hard. I stop that he come here, will come in, thank you very much. I will box him up here and I break his neck at the same time. So what you want to do, you want to make the enemy do the way you set up sabotage him. Set up the movement and then crop him up. So this way we are attacking only here. We don't go like that to hit, we might miss and I lost my face. Or maybe worse when he poked him in the eye, then my woman gonna be pretty but I don't know. I lost my eye. Problem. So, if you love yourself so much, keep it away, and then you're gonna attack from here. But if you don't love yourself too much, then carry on. Yes, I can hit you, and do whatever you want. Your life. So this is why we tell you to do, keep in line, then now I attack. I can be here, force it in, I can come in, and now I come in, now I can do the same. Same principle, and I come in here, I grab him here, and I come in here the same. Because I not let the elbow come in, in that way, and he, I cannot defend me that easily. I can boom here, boom here. Now come in, now I can attack him from here. It's very easy for me. So all this movement you're doing today is a very basic movement. But all depends on your body, how to use each one and make use of it. Same thing when we do the Tai Chi the same. We come in here, elbow further away, so I don't come in here and looking for the elbow. See that? Lost my face here. Or I come down here, so he cannot hurt me. Easy for me to break his shoulder. Easy for me. See, from this particular movement here, I go boom here, here, oh, shoulder break, arm into here, then I chuck him across here, and I send him away to see mama. Do you understand that? So on this day, on the training, it's very simple, what do you do? Very simple, what do you do? Very easy, boom here, grab, pull, very simple. Close the gap here, send him away, very simple. Each thing you move, you do, your leg position, exactly the same, and how you practice. You practice like this, and this is what you do. If you practice like this, then exactly what you do. Nice, big fucking face like this. When you come out, fight, boom, oh shit. <laughs> what happened? My face ugly, why is that? Because I started, I love myself too much like this. I do my Tai Chi like this. <laughs> Pathetic. 
I like to do my time to like this. So when they attack, yeah, boom, rip case, elbow me. Oh shit, he can't boom, boom, down home break, boom, done it. And now I do the go back the same again, I pass him up. So, very simple. Come down to the end of the day, we tell you what we teach you, and you learn what you do exactly the same way. Do you understand that? It's not tell you one thing and do something else. So this is important that when you do some training here, or you do some stuff on me on the YouTube they follow on, exactly the same way. I tell that exactly that and that exactly that. And I will shut the all the gate when they come in. Got many opportunities for him to attack, but we will shut all the gate. So he cannot attack you. It's no point you set up the bazooka and blow them up and he got a 44 guy of bloody gun behind you, shoot up your asshole. Yes, I blow you up, but you go too. Dead. You understand that? So you do the movement and you gotta be safe. And safety of yourself must come first. So if you don't worry about your safety, then you go into all your silly movement, then that's it. Good luck to you. So it's very simple today. If you like it, yes. don't like it, who fucking care? <laughs> so that's all today for you not, yeah? You like it and then uh, just uh, play around next time, keep an eye on our YouTube and and, 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 and subscribe. So we next time what, what we do is we, we tell you what the next one is, when is it? And then come along and join in. I tell you exactly what is it. No bullshit to you. Okay, people. Got any problem? Ask me now if you want. Any questions? Got any, questions? Got, got any questions? Anything? This can be like a regular thing each month. Hi guys, where are you from? Uh, we're from Luton. Uh, what's your name? I'm Zoe. Gregor. And how did you hear about Martha Wong? Uh, through YouTube. Have you been watching him for long? Yeah, yeah. Um, I came across his Wing Chun videos and then his uh, Tai Chi videos. And you? You watch it as well? <laughs> and so what made you come to the free lesson today then? Uh, beautiful weather and I uh, heard about it on uh, Twitter and uh, the site so couldn't pass up an opportunity to meet uh, the legendary Master Wong. <laughs> so what was it like meeting him then today? He's even more intense in real life than on his videos I think. It's amazing to... he's so inspirational, definitely. Any... any um was his technique any good to you? Amazing. His technique is first class. Um, I can say that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what did you learn today then? Or what part? I, I think he just reinforced um, some very nice key points um, in closing the gap and feeling comfortable to manipulating the opponent um, and reacting fast so it should practice the movement very fluidly, very quickly, and to get the full effect. Um, so, yes, I will be practicing at home. Would you be back then? Yeah. Yes, definitely. You can um, also contact him via email, do you think you do that? Yes, uh, I, I already, I sent an email, uh, I think last week, so. All right. Yeah. Okay, and um, now you've experienced Wing Chun as well. Yes. Do you think that's something to do in your future, or are you going to stick to Tai Chi? Uh, for now, my interest is in Tai Chi. Are you looking to do combat side or just the form for health? Uh, both. Yeah. The full syllabus. Excellent. Okay, um, any words to Master Wong? Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's been an amazing day and I look forward to coming back. And it's, it's been a really good day, thank you. And what was, you, what was it like meeting Master Wong for you? Uh. Is it scary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank your you. Name and where are you from? My name's Sean Chasty. I'm originally from Scotland, but I've lived in Bermuda a long time. Okay. Uh, and how did you hear about Master Wong? Well, when I was teaching over in Thailand, uh, you know, I mean, I have no Sifu in, in Thailand, and it was very hard to find anything in Wing Chun in Thailand. So I was looking on YouTube, and I came upon Master Wong's video YouTube, and I. I, I loved it. I was uh, I've been watching him for about two and a half years over in Thailand before coming here. Okay. Did you come here for work specifically, or did you come here? Well, originally, like I'm from Scotland. Mm -hmm. I'm just coming back to the UK, you know. Yeah. But I tell you, but it was in my mind when I first got here. I would got to come find Master Wong. <laughs> and you know? what's it, your expectations of him, and did it come through by meeting him? Yes, yeah, so it didn't surprise me. I always, I always respected the man. The man is, you know, he's got a good sense of humor. He, you know. He knows his stuff. That is for true. That he knows his stuff, and I said, "I'm, I'm privileged to meet you all here." Uh, how did your lesson go today, then? 
pretty good. I mean, I mean, it's. I'm, I'm sorry I came late, but I, you know, it's hard to get from Nottingham to here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, uh, but I mean, it was very interesting, and and it all makes sense. It all makes sense. It's, it's a little bit different from the traditional style that I study, but you know, I'm, hey, my, I'm open. I'm open. I'm, I love Wing Chun. Has he opened your mind a bit more today, then? Or? Yeah, yeah, it has. Yeah. It has. It has. I'm, I look forward to meeting and coming back again. Yeah. I've been interested to um, to train with you guys. You know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've got loads of training. Yeah. What is your main thing you want to learn from him, then, Wing Chun? Or? Uh, yeah, Wing Chun, because that's where I'd, I've been since '97. You know, uh, doing studying Wing Chun. So. It, I, I'd be, I'm interested in Wing Chun, but I'm also interested in whatever else they have, you know? Yeah. Any messages to him? Uh, thank you very much, Master Wong. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, honestly, yeah, you're doing a great job on YouTube, you know? And it, it's a, it's a pl privilege to watch some of your videos on, on the YouTube. I guess we'll be seeing you again then, yeah? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, I'll be here. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, have you done any training before? Um, I've, I did uh, Sancho, um, with Chinese boxing, um, Southern Kung Fu, um, a bit of Wing Chun, uh, Wushu, um, that's about it I think. What's the difference between his, his training and the ones you've done before? Um, it seems like more, uh, it's more self, it seems like a more self-defense, but like, other classes, is, uh, like Sancho for example, is for, it's mostly a sport type art isn't it and um, Wushu is more, more like form based and things like that it doesn't really teach you how to defend yourself whereas his one his classes seem like really realistic yeah re realistic exactly um, and um, you, know, you can learn a lot like yeah is this what you're looking for yeah you, you, well you want to every martial artist dreams to like know everything isn't it so um, what to defend yourself yeah, to, yeah exactly and um, yeah, he seems like he, he's a type of person that could teach you that. Would you visit again? Yeah, definitely. Um, next time, if I can, I wanted to come down like regularly, but it's so far away. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm two hours away. So, but yeah. Really good effort, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll definitely be back. Yeah. Cool. What do you want to say to Master Wong? Um, teach me for free. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, oh, I actually wanted to learn. Uh, uh, know where, like. I heard he's got like a, a weekend, um, weekend lesson. training course. Yeah, here? yeah. I'll, I'll, on the I want to look into that. I haven't. I don't know too much about that, so that's why. I'd, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you think you're gonna walk away with the techniques you've learnt today? Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go, go home and show my friends this few of the techniques. Uh, yeah. You're gonna try it on them, are you? Yeah, yeah. So you look what I learned from Master Wong. Yeah, it's wicked. Are you confident you can pull it out? Um, what the the moves you just learnt? Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Bit of practice, but yeah. You're gonna scare your friends now, aren't you? Uh, only the ones that do kung fu. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. You know, I'm not a bully. <laughs> so what? What's the next technique you want to learn from Master Wong? Um, I I was just talking to him about uh, doing a tai chi uh, weekend with him um, on the Chen form, but yeah. Yeah, Chen form's bad. It was a wicked form. Yeah. Wait till the combat. No problem, man. Yeah, I could see, I could see, I could see how it works. Yeah. yeah. You're looking forward to it then. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Okay. Thank you.